Hey, I'm Jeff, and I lead the product team at IFT. Many of you are probably familiar with IFT. Over the years, over 20 million people have used the IFT system to connect and automate many of their favorite things. For example, here's Slack on the IFT platform, many people's favorite thing. Uh, and uh, what we call uh, Slack, we call it a service on the IFT platform. And today I'm going to show you how to create your own service to represent your brand and your product in the IFT ecosystem and allow it to connect to over 600 other brands that are already resident on the IFT uh, platform. This will allow consumers to connect your service with all of these other products uh, and devices that they have in their lives and in their work uh, to allow them to automate uh, their favorite things, including your service. This is a super affordable way for you to drastically expand the reach and relevance of your brand and your product. Uh, it means your product can connect with every other brand that's already on the IFT platform with just one single integration on our platform. So let's get started. I'd like you to go to platform.ift.com and click sign up. Signing up's easy. You just need an email address and a password. and your company name. And you're in. So once you clear that welcome screen, you're landed on your service page. Your service page is where you declare all of the elements about your API on the IFT platform. For the purpose of this demonstration, uh, I am the lead developer on an integrations team at a company that makes smart speakers. So my service is going to be about my smart speakers and all of the triggers, actions, and queries that my service can respond to or emit into the IFT ecosystem. Okay, I can complete some of these other things which will help people find my service or my product on the IFT platform, but for expediency, I'll just skip through a few things and uh, provide a few uh, fields here just for demonstration purposes. Okay, I'm going to go to the API tab, and the API tab is where I declare some of the magical technical elements of how an IFT service works. For example, I'm going to show you triggers, actions, and queries. Triggers are the things that my cloud service will emit into the uh, IFT platform, into the IFT cloud, that allows other services to listen for and, uh, create and take action on. Actions are things that my service will be listening for uh, when triggers from other services are emitted into the IFT platform. And then my service takes an action on those triggers. And queries are things that allow other services to inspect status or get data out of my service. So first thing first, uh, on the general tab, I will declare my cloud services API. And this is where uh, my API exists in my cloud service. Next thing, I'll go to the triggers tab. There's a pre-populated trigger called a new thing was created, but because we're doing a speaker demonstration today, um, I'll make it a little bit more relevant. In this case, uh, we'll call this um, if music plays. And the description is uh, when music plays on your speakers. So again, uh, when music plays on my speakers, that event or that trigger will send that trigger event into the IFT platform for the other services to be listening to. And uh, my endpoint is called play status. And I'll save that. Next thing here is I will declare uh, an action. Again, there's a pre-populated action. Uh, for the speaker example, we'll say the action is to play music. Uh, 
So in this case, if a, a, an appropriate trigger that a consumer has connected up to my service uh, requests music to be played, that will cause this action to uh, fire. So play music. And then queries. In this case, we'll say um, how much So how much music is played on my speakers? So this allows other services to make that inquiry into my service so they can uh, they can display that data or take a, an, a an action based on uh, the, st the status or the data uh, that's returned there. So that's it, super simple. Uh, there are other tools here you can explore your way around. For example, there's a checklist which will tell me how much progress I've made on creating my own service. And then when I'm ready, I can go and uh, select Publish Now and what this will do is uh, submit my service uh, into the IFT team and we'll have a look at it just like an app store. We'll have a look at it and do a quick inspection to see how, uh, how, it, how it looks to us and uh, make some recommendations potentially before you can publish it out to the rest of the uh, IFT uh, ecosystem. So like I said, super easy, uh, nice, uh, nice way to get started on the IFT platform. One of many cool things that you can do once you're uh, a developer on the IFT platform. And uh, what I'd like you to do next is uh, go to uh, platform.ift.com slash plans. You can have a look at the plans that we have to offer. Choose one that's appropriate for you and get started right away. And uh, you too can have your product represented uh, among 600 other brands on the IFT platform to allow consumers to connect together to automate many of their favorite things. Thanks for listening today. Cheers.